The overall goal of this procedure is to recover infectious virus from a two-part Zika virus cDNA clone. This method can answer key questions in the field of flavivirology, such as vaccine strategies, pathogenesis, transmission, and virus evolution. The main advantage of this technique is that the two-part system is more stable than full-length approaches. Though this method can provide insight into Zika virus, it can also be applied to other viral systems that have proven difficult to clone due to plasma instability. Demonstrating the procedure will be James Wager, a postdoc from my laboratory. Begin by setting up digestion reactions for both plasmids encoding the Zika virus genome, P1 and P2. Digest 3.3 micrograms of P1 with APAL1 and BAMH1 high fidelity in the presence of recombinant phosphatase in a final volume of 100 microliters. For P2, digest 13.3 micrograms of P2 DNA with APL1 and ECOR1 high fidelity in a final volume of 100 microliters. Incubate both reactions at 37 degrees Celsius for 1 to 2 hours. After purifying the digested plasmids using a commercial gel and PCR cleanup kit, add 30 microliters of elution buffer preheated to 70 degrees Celsius to the column and incubate for 5 minutes. After spinning down the purified digested plasmids, prepare the ligation reaction by combining 29 microliters of purified P1 and 29 microliters of purified P2 with T4 DNA ligation reaction buffer and T4 DNA ligase in double distilled water to a final volume of 100 microliters. Incubate the ligase.